Today's skincare ideas are in celebration of St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up around the corner. Tiffany Fate of Olive and M is here to make a green mask, an ode to the Irish spirit. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You are speaking my language. <laughs> I love food in my mouth, food on my face, and I love that you're going to be showing us how to moisturize our skin, which we obviously need today, yes. especially because it's so cold. Yes. Um, so what are we doing with the avocado that we have so far in this bowl? So we're going to make a lucky green goddess Ooh. clay mask. Um, and what I find with a lot of clay masks is they can be very drying. Mm -hmm. um, so what we wanted to do is create a mask that will help pull out toxins and detoxify the skin, but it's also going to nourish mm -hmm. and doesn't overstrip the skin. That's what I like to call the sweet spot. I love the sweet spot. <laughs> okay, so we have what, like one whole avocado? Or so is it actually half? half an avocado, mm -hmm. which I have mashed in the bowl. And we're going to add about, about two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, the avocado has vitamins A, E, and K, among others. Olive oil, which a lot of people don't know, has um, amazing antibacterial properties. So it's an anti-inflammatory, and it will help kill bacteria on the skin. So another good reason to have it in the mask, along with its nourishing properties. That's great. Okay, yeah. so we're mixing together basically fat and fat, because avocado is yep. a healthy fat, yep. olive oil is a healthy fat, and then what are we going to add we into this? We love fat for the face. Of course, <laughs> fat for the face, fat everywhere, it's great. So it's you staying want warm to today. Um, <laughs> take ha uh, an, one lime, okay, and then just squeeze both in, because you want about two, ta two teaspoons of juice, which you get just about with both halves squeezed into the bowl. Everything so far is green. I love this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're staying true to your word here. And I have to be honest, I was using this mask last night. It's really? amazing. Really? Yes. Okay, that's good to it's, know. It's very hydrating and just um, very calming. Um, one of my favorite things I'm about to add here is a matcha green tea powder. So I have about two teaspoons, another green. <laughs> so you know what's so great about this? Um, I've drank you know, matcha green tea. I've never thought to put it in a mask though. Yes, it can be very brightening for the skin. Really? Okay. It also is just full of antioxidants. So it's really good to help fortify the skin. Um, and I found it to be incredibly cooling, almost as though you had a cucumber mask mm -hmm. on the face. It almost um, acts the like combination, a turmeric. Absolutely. Yeah, the combination the turmeric, with yeah. the avocado too. And then um, our hero, the uh, <laughs> bentonite clay, which you were telling me you've used before. Okay, so <laughs> I've used bentonite clay, and then when it dries, because I actually add apple cider vinegar to it, my face starts to pulsate, you know? Yes. It just starts to burn, so yes. I really like that you're adding it with all these other ingredients, because I don't think that my face would pulsate. Yes. With I, this combination of powders I know powders exactly what you mean. And, and that's when, oop, I'm getting a little messy. It's okay. Um, that's when you are really telling yourself you're overstripping the skin. Yes. And um, so you'll see it's kind of going to create a little bit of a thicker mm -hmm. paste here. So then I'm going to add, I have, have about a fourth cup of water. And I'm going to add a little bit and then mix it in, see if I need a little more. Um, but yeah, you really want to get your skin to that point where you feel super clean. Yes. You know that feeling, fresh, right? When it but just, you don't want yeah. to feel tight because that means you've overstripped the skin. I really like this because everything that you have in here just feels like it would really nourish the face yes. rather than you know stripping the face of, of all its natural oils. Yes, exactly. And you'll still get that detox pulling out mm -hmm. of it. Um, so now you can see the consistency. It's like a really beautiful, almost like frosting consistency. Yes. And that's kind of where you want it. It's gonna um, smooth over the face really evenly. Mm -hmm. And then you wanna let it set for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, will it tighten up on the face? Like, how so do we know when it's done? It will It will dry, but what I love about this again is it's not, it might get a little bit, um, a little bit crinkly on the skin, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna get tight. It's not gonna, it, you're not gonna look like the desert floor. <laughs> well, yeah, we definitely don't want to look like the desert floor. Okay, so I really love this recipe. And then also really quick, I know you and I were talking about this, you know, as an ode to the Irish spirit. Yes. Did you know that you could get rid of uh, dark circles under the eyes using potatoes? Yes, I've, I've done that. I've heard it. It's actually very effective. Yeah. So while you're letting this mask sit, we recommend, you know, using potato slices on your, on your eyelids and giving yourself a nice relax. We all need that. Or just or like a little a leprechaun. Or a little cucumber. Like a little leprechaun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you a question because I know so many people are afraid of using oil on their skin because they think that if they use oil on their skin that they're going to break out. Is this true? So I feel like I have this conversation every day, mm -hmm. pretty much <laughs> working for a, a, an oil-based yes. brand, olive oil-based. Um, so one thing, not all oils are created equally. So um, oils have different molecular structures, so you want to use the right oil. So you want to use an olive oil, avocado oil, 
um, on your skin, on your face, as opposed to like a coconut oil, which has a really large molecule. Yes. And that's where you get into problems. The other issue is uh, most people are over stripping the skin. Again, you're getting at that that skin to a place where you're feeling very tight, mm -hmm. and that means that you are going to be overcompensating oil throughout the day. So you are an advocate for using oil on Absolutely. the face. Obviously working for Olive and M, <laughs> I can't imagine you. Um, and then really quick, uh, for someone who wants to cultivate that natural beauty regimen, mm -hmm. what's the first step? Because there's so many products out there. Yes, okay, so my suggestion is always look at your um, bathroom counter, mm -hmm. what are you running low in, and start there. Don't overwhelm yourself yeah. by feeling like you need to turn over or you know throw 20 products in the trash. We're not we're not wanting to waste either. So kind of start where you're needing to fill your space. And um, I always recommend a cleansing oil to get acquainted with oil and a face oil. Well, thank you so much, Tiffany. I'm Absolutely. loving all these recipes that you gave us today. If you want to uplevel your skincare routine, head to oliveandm.com and follow them on social media at Olive and M.